In this episode of Music Without Theory, we're going to talk about whether music helps plants to grow. We've all heard the rumours, playing music to plants can help them grow. But is it true? How much do we really know about whether plants respond to music? And do they prefer Beyonce or Bach? Before we dig into this, post a comment below with the name of a song that you believe would help a plant to grow. Prize for the best comment, and the prize will be a virtual hug. The big question is, does music help plants to grow? Some studies say yes. In 1962, Indian botanist Dr. T.C. Singh, head of botany at Anamale University, conducted several experiments on music and plant growth. He found that balsam plants grew an extra 20% in height when exposed to classical music, along with a 72% increase in biomass. And this was compared to a control group. Similar results were found by a Canadian engineer called Eugene Camby. His wheat fields experienced a 66% yield increase when exposed to recordings of Bach's violin sonata. However, Illinois researcher George Smith was very skeptical about plants responding to music. So he conducted highly controlled greenhouse studies of his own. In one greenhouse, he played George Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue for 24 hours of a day. And the results? Thicker, greener plants that weighed 40% more for corn and 20% more for soy. Can it be a coincidence? Despite the hundreds of studies on plants, the exact effect of music on plants still remains unclear. This fern that I keep in my studio grows at a ridiculous rate. I have to prune it all the time and it's hard to say whether that's as a result of listening to incredible music or the position relative to the sunlight or the amount that I water it but if I had to make an educated guess I would say it's probably the music. As we know plants don't have brains, ears or central nervous systems in the same way that animals do but they can still perceive light, scent, touch wind and gravity. German biologist Michael Schirnier believes that plants may have organs that perceive noises too. He says that sound vibrations could trigger a response of the plant via mechanoreceptors. In humans, mechanoreceptors are able to detect and distinguish sound waves in the form of pressure as each wave strikes the inner ear. So, if plants have similar receptors, they too might be able to respond to changes in sound waves such as those in music. One theory is that the vibrations of sound waves within music might help to stimulate a plant's cytoplasmic streaming process, therefore prompting better growth. Despite all of this, many scientists argue that there is not enough conclusive evidence to support the theory that playing music helps plants to grow. In fact, some scientists have suggested that it might actually be the effect that the music has on the caregiver of the plant, rather than the plant itself. This might be because the music has encouraged attentiveness of the caregiver. So if the caregiver has decided to play a plant some music, maybe the caregiver will be around more to give the plant more water. However, I would love to think that plants do respond positively to hearing or sensing music in some way. So I'm thinking of running an experiment of my own. Maybe to one plant I will play hardcore metal and to the other plant I will play slow jams. I wonder what would happen. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think music helps plants to grow? Have you tried this yourself and noticed any changes? Do the leaves sway in time to the music? <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments and hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and I will see you next time.